just about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. of everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure right. where most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedowns. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. This fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool play. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Nice body kick. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Just out of the range with that right hand. Watch the shot. How good is that right hand? Oh, nice. Nice loop and punch. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, there's a takedown attempt. No surprise that he would go for it there, but unable to get the fight to the ground. Whatever your opponent knows that you're going to try to take him down, you have to disguise it. He did not disguise it. He tried to shoot a blind shot. It got defended, as you would expect him to. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Another head kick lands. He's got to start blocking these, DC. One more, and it could be lights out. It could be over, and most people would be sleeping on the mat after taking such a dominant strike. Credit to his chin, but you don't want to get kicked that many times in the head. Oh, nicely done as he gets the double leg takedown. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here, not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Single 
Collar tie now. Nice kick. Trying to kick the leg out. Joy gets in the clinch yet again. Got the single collar tie. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Head kick lands. They continue to exchange. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Joy. Oh, spinning fastest. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Whips on the straight right hand. Let's get that take out and win the round. Nice strike. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. Right hand punch to the clinch. Oh, and the ankle pick to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming. What a kick now. He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Effective punch there by Short. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Straight right hand now just misses. Choice strike attempt there is blocked. Straight right hand, no good. Counters now with an overhand left. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Just misses with a left hook there. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Single collar tie there. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Choi's shot is blocked. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch. Over and over. You come up, you go down. Another takedown land. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Gets right back up. I mean, what an ankle pick. If he would have drove into his opponent, maybe he would have secured the top position. Just out of range with that right hand. 
and he'll engage in a single collar tonight. Wow, actually got the takedown. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Great punch. Blocks the shot. Flush right hand is true. Wow! Single collar tie here. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So the hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do. Right into side control. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage. Out a lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. Final seconds here of round number two. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. 10 minutes in the books. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. No problem. Relax. The takedown didn't go your way last round. We know how to fix it. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets underway. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Oh, big punch land. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. The guard lands the right hand. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing it. Oh! DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Ooh, big shot land. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, Superman punches good. You can tell he's been working on that. Head kick. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Oh, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Stuff the takedown, no problem. All right, so the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. And he continues to work the body here. 
you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. And they separate. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Connects with the right. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Nice punch here. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. That punch, no good. Right hook attempt, that's a miss. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. That's a big strike right there. Just missed with that right hand. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, nice. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination up top. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, son. Oh, nice strike landed there by Shore. Misses again with a right punch. Right, no more strikes. Take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, next round is underway. And if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat. Both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high. And you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. All right, let's go. Get that right hand up. Just out of range with that strike. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, big knee! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, oh, tie. The Korean Superboy gets hit with a kick. Back and forth we go. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect.
stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Left hand points in the clinch. What a body kick. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. And he landed the right hand there. What a fantastic wrestle. Great takedown. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. And he's back up. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Lands the right hand. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Superman punch. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. He blocks the punch. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Getting it to land exactly where you want it. Beautiful punch. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. Oh, nice. Nice. Choice shot there is blocked. Just missed with the left there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Right hand on point. Beautiful kick. Just misses there with the left. Nice punch land. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt already. Bad. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Lunges forward with a left there. Joy gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Left hand punch from the clinch. Joy gets the tie clinch here. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's gonna break him? Quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. All right, let us now check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and how about that flying knee? I mean, who does that? Who jumps off the ground and throws a knee? Who propels himself to throw a flying knee? I would never. Right. It's too dangerous. Risk versus reward. You try anything out there, but I guess that's why it's a video. I probably pull a muscle or something. <laughs> Fifth and final round, fourth cup. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about that shin? Oh, that's a good right hand. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. 
Ooh, what a punch. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Short. Another one. Yep. Up oh, and the left hand. Oh, man, he lands another punch to the head. Oh, nice. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Superman punch now. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Who finishes the fight? All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. by the Korean Super Bowl. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. 90 seconds to go to decide this one. Oh, misses with the jab. Well, he put so much stock into this spot. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! He got him! <laughs> yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight.